Hey friends, Ash here with Sense. Hope you're doing really well. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at this fragrance right here, Happy Land Fragrances, Ohm for the Holidays. I actually like that, you kind of play on words there. Let's see what you did. So I've actually had this one for a while. I think um, going on a year at least and haven't talked about it till just now. I actually don't think I've talked about any Happy Land fragrances until now. If you're unaware of Happy Land fragrances, they have a pretty good selection of fragrances and they are on the more affordable side. So a 50 mil size, this one right here, is gonna run you $55. There's also a 30 mil size, so one fluid ounce, that one's gonna run you $42. Or you can get a five mil sample for $7. So not super expensive. In this video, I'll go ahead and break this one down for you, let you know what I think about it, and I guess uh, show you the presentation really quickly as well. I mean, here it is, but I'll show it to you a little closer in a second. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. First off, let's take a quick look at the presentation. Now the presentation from the house is just basically a decant bottle with a sticker put on the front. So pretty much no frills. So there it is for this one. Like I said, decant bottle, sticker on the front. There you go. I'll go ahead and waste the spray for you guys as well. So boom, there we go. Sprays out a lot. Reason I decided to cover this one today is because it is very affordable. So a lot of you out there are looking for fragrances right now that are not super expensive with everything that's been going on this year. And it's a really good match for this time of year. I mean, obviously it's, it's right in the name, isn't it? Let me go ahead and give you guys the note breakdown for the fragrance. In the top, we have coffee, maple sap, and cardamom. In the mid, there is pumpkin and nutmeg and ambroxan. And then when you head into the base, there's cedar, leather, vetiver, and oak moss. And I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description to the website and to this fragrance in case you wanna check them out. This is not a sponsored video. I don't have a coupon code or anything for you guys. There's possibly one floating around out there, but I don't know what it is, if there is one. But if there is a coupon code and one of you out there watching this knows, then drop it in the comments section. So let's go ahead and break down how this one smells. When I first sprayed this one on, it smells, and this is gonna sound a little bit strange, but it smells kind of like coffee popcorn. Yeah. So kind of like if you had popcorn that was coffee flavored, it kind of smells like that in the opening. And I'm talking the initial opening. Doesn't smell bad. So just to be clear, it's not something where I smell it and I go, oh, gross. But it does remind me a little bit of that. Then as it dries down, that coffee comes out more, comes straight to the front of the fragrance. It's more of a roasted coffee. So it has a little bit of that, that edge to it, like a slight bitter edge to it. Again, doesn't smell bad. If you like coffee, you should like this one. You've also got spiciness in there working along with the coffee. So you've got cardamom, you've got nutmeg, these little pops of spice, it's very warm. It's got kind of a gourmand edge to it as well. And all of this starts happening within the first 10 minutes or so. For the majority of the lifespan of the fragrance, it's gonna be smelling like that really nice roast coffee with spicy nuances kicking and popping in there. It's at times a little bit sweet, at times, like I mentioned before, a little bit bitter with that kind of burnt roast coffee edge, but it is really good for cool weather and cold weather. So yeah, the name absolutely makes sense. You know, Thanksgiving, Christmas time, November, December, even into January, this fragrance gonna be great. As you head into the dry down, it still does retain that kind of roast coffee feel. You get some supporting woods, little bit of leather, not a huge amount though. For me, it's still mainly about that coffee and it is a really, really nice coffee note. Uh, one thing that I'll mention is that there's pumpkin in the mid here or at least in the note breakdown, I don't really get any pumpkin. So there's never a point during the fragrance's lifespan where I'm like, oh, there's, there's that pumpkin, you know, that pumpkin spice. I don't really get that. For me though, that's not a knock because really what I love here is the coffee. Coffee is a favorite note of mine. 
favorite note of my wife's. So that's really what I focus in on with this fragrance. I, I don't care that I don't pick up any pumpkin. And my wife picked up on the coffee immediately in this. As soon as I sprayed it on, I said, hey, do you smell that? And she was like, yeah, yeah, I do. And I said, well, what do you get from it? And she was like, a whole bunch of coffee. So if that's your thing, coffee fragrances, check it out. If you want something that has a nice, you know, semi-gourmand, sweet, at times warm, cozy, spicy fragrance going along with that coffee. Can't go wrong here. 55 bucks for 50 mils, which is this size right here, 42 bucks for 30 mils. And I think the prices actually went up a little bit from the past, but it's still not very expensive. And if you wanna sample it, seven bucks, and that gets you a five mil sample. So five mils, you'll be able to get enough wear out of that to figure out if it's something that you really want or not. That would be my suggestion. I mean, most of the time it's better to sample first instead of, you know, buying it and then going, oh, I don't like it. But I think if you like the notes and if you like how it sounds, it's a pretty safe blind buy. Let's talk really quickly about performance and go ahead and wrap this one up. In terms of longevity, you're looking at eight plus hours here, above average longevity, so nothing to complain about there. And in terms of projection, really solid for the first, I would say, hour and a half, two hours, and then it starts to sit a little closer to the skin, but it doesn't become a real skin scent. Overall, above average across the board. And I touched on this previously, but seasons are gonna be fall and winter. And in terms of day or night, for me, probably leans a little more toward nighttime, but you can use it in either. If you were gonna knock it, I would say you would knock the uh, presentation. It doesn't come with a box or anything, just this decant bottle, but ultimately the fragrance is what matters, and this one is solid. So there is a fragrance for you with a little holiday cheer. You could even use it like as a room freshener maybe. Oh, shouldn't have done that. It's everywhere now. Happy Land Studios, home for the holidays. Link in the description if you want to check it out. And there are a whole bunch of other fragrances from that house that I have not talked about. If you want me to cover any of them, let me know in the comments below. Just say, hey, I'd like you to cover whatever, X, Y, Z, and I'll see if I can get to it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.